Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this Halloween home decor, I'm going to be using one of these rugs and I'm going to be working outside because there's water involved in this one. I'm going to be using a bunch of like this round cotton balls. I'm going to be working with acrylic paints. I'm making two in one and for one I'm using orange and yellow and I'm also using this like kitchen tool like one of this like huge spoons for soups and a bowl with water. I'm going to be adding my acrylic paint to my bowl then mixing it I'm using a brush to mix it by the way placing my cotton balls and i'm gonna let them in there for about 10 to 15 minutes because i want my cotton balls to be pigmented the more you leave them in the more color they're gonna be absorbing then i'm gonna be taking my uh, spoon and in this case i'm gonna be using this to bake my cotton after this like I'm, I'm done with this whole diy i washed it by the way like three times just to remove any kind of like acrylic paint residue I'm going to be arranging my cotton balls to let dry. Just arrange them apart from each other just so there's like enough like air to go through. For my other one, I'm going to be using purple, green, black and orange acrylic paints. Pretty much doing the same thing. Acrylic paint to my water, adding my cotton there, then just removing it and letting them dry. The drying part is the part that takes the longest out of like everything. It took me about three to four days until they were fully dry. Now for my candy core one, I'm here like uh, pretending to be Wednesday Adams. by the way, this is my Halloween costume. And since I'm not going anywhere this Halloween, I think, I decided to dress up for this DIY. I'm gonna be needing a clear glass bottle. I got mine from like white one that I cleaned after. And yeah, I'm just gonna be filling them in first for this with the yellow ones. And I'm helping myself with this plastic straw just to arrange them as I want them to sit. Stepping on one, like one third of like the whole bottle itself and then moving on to the orange ones. Doing pretty much the same thing but stepping a bit higher than the two thirds because most candy corns tend to have like more orange in them than anything else. Then for my white ones I decided to paint some in white and do the same thing and I actually did this first without painting this because I thought what's the point they are already white but they look different and they add a different texture to it. I'm going to be working with my other one. Pretty much placing this multicolored ones randomly. Just trying to not grab two of the same color at once or next to each other. And again, I'm using my straw to just help me arrange them as I go, filling the whole bottle. And if you make a mistake, if you don't like the pattern, if you chose like two of the same color next to each other, you can always take some pliers and then just pull them out like so. I'm going to be adding some twine and I'm going to be making a bow with this. But yeah guys, this is the Halloween decor that I wanted to show with you. This one is actually one of my favorites that I've done so far. They are so much fun to look at, so much fun to make. Some people say that they look like colored popcorn and I kind of agree with that. I really like that the white from the like the cotton is showing through. I think it adds kind of like an interesting detail there, dimension to it. Feel free to use this for the home party or dorm decor. I think it looks really cute and it's pretty affordable, really easy to make. It takes a couple of days to make, but I think the end result looks pretty cute. But yeah, I really like it. Hopefully you do too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below. Subscribe to my channel for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Take care and happy Halloween. Bye!